Are you ready to learn what a digit is? And we're also going to learn place value. Let's start with digits. Here's the number five. The number five has one number, so it has one digit. The number 25 is a larger number. It has two numbers, which means it has one, two digits. Let's go even bigger. Here's the number 310. This number has three numbers in it, a three, a one, and a zero, which means it has three digits. One, two, three. Three digits. Each of those digits has a value. That's what we call our place value. Let's start over on the right. When you have one digit, that's what we call our ones. And that goes from the number one all the way up to the number nine. But when we get to the number nine, we can't go any larger without adding a digit. So when we go to the number 10, we now have two digits. Our zero is in our ones category. So we don't have any ones at this time, but we do have our next digit, which is a one in our tens category. The number in the tens column changes when the ones get too high. For instance, the number 19. The ones have a nine and can't go any higher. So we need to add another 10 to bring our number to 20. And now we have two groups of 10 with zero ones. When the tens and the ones get all the way to the top at nine and nine for the number 99, then we have to add another digit. That digit's value is going to be hundreds. So if we have the number 100, we have 100 with zero tens and zero ones. Let's try a harder number, 462. If we look at the number 462, our four represents four hundreds. That means our hundred category has a value of 400. Now if we move over to our tens category, how many tens do we have? That's right, we have six tens, which means our value of our tens category is 60. Now if we move over to our ones category, how many ones do we have? We have two ones. That means our ones category has a value of two. Now if we add those all together, 400 plus 60 plus two, we get our total, which is 462. Wow, that was really awesome. Great job learning place value. Be sure to like this video and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. We have tons of educational videos that'll make you rock that classroom. See you soon.